Hello, hello, my friends. It is time for the early May candle chat. This is a video series that I like to do twice a month on my channel where I talk about candles that are currently in my burn rotation. I give you some initial post burn thoughts or maybe sometimes it's just initial cold sniff thoughts or if I've been burning a candle a little bit longer, I can give you some updated thoughts. There's a lot of thoughts going on in this video. If you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Katie. I love to talk all things candles. So if you find yourself wanting to stick around for more candle content, please make sure you hit the subscribe button before you get on out of here. Don't forget to hit thumbs up if you like this video. I tend to be very verbose, so I'm trying to narrow down this video into a shorter one for all of you guys because I have a lot of candles to talk about here today. As always, I will have every candle that I am talking about listed and linked in the description box down below, as well as with any kind of affiliate discount codes that I have. I am a Kringle Candle brand ambassador, as well as a Homeworks Candle brand ambassador. My discount codes with them are affiliate codes that are eligible for a commission. I do always want to be upfront about that. However, this video is not sponsored in any way, shape or form. This is just a video that I like to do here. So. Without further ado, let's go ahead and talk about the candles that I am burning this month. Before I forget about them, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about the candles that I currently have burning. So to my right, probably your left, in a hurricane here in my living room, I am currently burning the Strawberry Kiwi Lemonade. Is that what it's called from Homeworks? This is a candle that was recently sent to me in PR and I've gotten a couple of burns in on it. I'm not quite ready yet for a dedicated review. So far, I will tell you guys, it, they are those thin wicks that Homeworks is using right now and I've been beating the drum telling you guys with these thinner wicks, if you're not using a hurricane, allocate at least four to five hours to get a full pool, especially on the first burn. Successive pools, even after that, I've noticed take somewhere between, usually take about an hour and a half to two hours to completely pull out. However, I'm burning it in a hurricane. Right now, you guys, the strength and throw on this one is not super strong. Right now, I would give it about a five, but stay tuned for a dedicated review on that because one of the things that I have learned about a lot of Homeworks candles recently is that they really don't come into their full potential, usually until I'm about three or four burns in. So stay tuned for my thoughts about it, but I do like the fragrance. Um, it's a nice, um, it's not your typical strawberry fragrance, I would say from Homeworks. It's not like the strawberry fragrance that's in um, Farm Stand Strawberry. You do pick it up, pick up the lemonade essence and also whatever they're using for the Kiwi Accord, it is in there. There's a little bit different fruity note in there that I actually really am enjoying. Um, but again, stay tuned on that one. You should be seeing a dedicated review coming up on that one within the next couple of weeks. The other fragrance that I am burning in my master bedroom right now is the Country Candle Strawberry Lemonade. That fragrance was sent to me in PR back in, when was that? February, I think. Um, and I promise you guys, it sounds like all of the candles I'm talking about today are PR. They're not, they're not. Quite a few of them I actually bought on my own. This just happened to be the first two that I'm talking about. Uh, that candle is actually performing pretty well for me. The wicks are performing, they're quite strong. Funny thing about that candle that I noticed was that um, initially on the first, like I'm probably about, I would say a third of the way through of the burn on it now. And for that first quarter of the burn, I was like, these wicks are really close together. Like they were like this far apart. And I was like, why are they so close together? So on my last burn, I noticed that the wicks were actually crossed like this in the wax pool. So now that we've burned, I burned through enough wax, I was able to uncross them using my wick dipper. And um, yeah, I find that it didn't really impact the performance of the candle very much, but I just thought that was kind of an interesting thing that happened. Uh, that fragrance is definitely more, I would say the lemonade heavy than it is the strawberry fragrance. I still really, really enjoy it. May is a month where I am starting to definitely reach for all things summery, fruity. Um, I love a lot of fruity fragrances in the month of May. I'm starting to dabble in the coconut and tropical, but I'm not yet quite there yet. I live in Arizona. We are definitely already feeling what most of you guys feel in the summertime. Daytime highs right now are hovering between the mid 80s to low 90s, I would say. Pretty typical for us this time of year. I think it's beautiful. This is like my favorite type of weather here in Arizona, but um, yeah, we're definitely experiencing summer temperatures. And so I want all of the good fruity fragrances going on. 
All right, let's talk about a candle that I did a dedicated review on earlier this week. This is Homework's Garden Bouquet. If you happen to have caught that review, I told you that Homework's is doing this interesting thing where they're listing fragrance notes on the bottom of the candle, but if you go onto the website, you're actually able to see the top, middle, and bottom notes. And I think that that's very interesting because the fragrance note that is listed on the website is not listed here on the bottom, but it's the note that I'm picking up the most. So fragrance notes listed here are Night Blooming Jasmine, White Gardenia, Pink Rose, and Honeysuckle. My pour date on this one is October 9th of 2023. Here's the funny thing, you guys. On the website, they list Plumeria as a note, as a top note in here. And I have to tell you, that is the fragrance note that I detect the most when I burn this candle. If you love old school, if you're like a, a 90s kid, 90s kid teenager who loved Bath & Body Works Plumeria, this is it in a candle. It's slightly elevated. It doesn't smell as, um, I would say like synthetic. I think there's a red berry note in here as well, which we all know that Harry likes to blend his fruits with the florals to kind of tone down the headiness of a lot of florals. I don't really detect red berries in here, but I do think that it, it lends some sweetness to it. Um, but yeah, this is definitely, Plumeria. That is the note. That is the fragrance note that I pick up the most. I have really, really been enjoying this candle. Am I going to buy a backup right now? No, but I do enjoy it. I've been pairing it with another candle here that I am almost done with. I'm getting, I'm getting to the end here, and that is Country Candles Cake Pops. So I will burn this one in my master bedroom, usually while I am uh, burning the garden bouquet here in my living room. I will say that these country candles, usually when they are getting towards the end, I find that the peak strength and throw for a lot of my Kringle and country candles usually happens. Um, I usually get them like first, first and second burn is kind of like middle strength. The best strength and throw I usually get is usually in this block, like right here on the candle. I usually get the whatever it's gonna be the most, it's gonna perform the best throughout here. Now that I'm towards the end of this candle, if I were to put it into a hurricane, I could smell it a lot more. However, I talked about this in my April empties video, and I do know that sometimes um, the people that be at Kringle do watch my videos sometimes. My feedback for them is that I, I, I want them to find better glue for their wick clips because I'm finding that when I burn their jars in hurricanes, if I don't know if it's the soy wax formula that causes this to happen or whatnot, but it's not a problem that I encounter with Homeworks, for example. Um, a couple of times I've experienced it with Bath and Body Works, but not as much. The wick clips become detached if the wax gets too hot, and then I have to watch them because they're starting to float. I also use a wick dipper to extinguish my wicks, and sometimes that can be a little bit difficult when I'm trying to like dip the wick. Like when I go to dip the wick, I just find that the, that the wick clip comes completely undone. So I do have to watch it a little bit. The way that I remedy that is when these candles are getting towards the bottom, I just don't burn them in the hurricane and I keep an eye on them. They're definitely not ones that I'm just gonna set and forget as they get towards the bottom here. Um, but that being said, I've liked this candle so far. This is kind of like a musky vanilla type of fragrance, um, just generic and basic. Is it one that I plan to repurchase? No, but it's been a nice one to pair with um, some other candles that sometimes I don't necessarily have anything else in my collection that I think would pair nicely with it. Let's talk about another candle that I did a dedicated review on uh, probably about a week and a half ago now. This is Kringle Candles Coral. This is part of their new, uh, the, well, this one and the Cake Pops. They are part of the 2024 spring and summer lineup. This one was sent to me in PR, as was the Cake Pops. Um, the, the lid, do any of you guys ever have this happen with the Kringle lids? Um, sometimes that happens with mine. Not a really big deal for me. It's not the end of the world. This fragrance to me, you guys, this is like kind of become my go-to evening fragrance. In my dedicated review of this, the way that I described it is that I feel like this is the feminine counterpart. If you love their sea salt and tonka, which is a very like neutral summertime fragrance, if you like that scent, I there's something about this that is more like traditionally feminine to my nose. But again, you guys, we know fragrance. There's 
that's just kind of, I feel like I throw that out there just to kind of give keep people an idea, but it doesn't necessarily like lock anybody in like, this is exclusively feminine or masculine. It's just a kind of a descriptor that I think a lot of us would I'd, like be able to understand, I guess. I love this fragrance. It's calming without it being like your stereotypical spa-like type of fragrance. This one pairs really nicely with Kringle Candles Gardenia, which I am actually probably on like one more burn of the three wick on that candle. Um, it also pairs really nicely with Bath & Body Works Vanilla Coconut Surf, but I do plan to purchase Sea Salt and Tonka and then burn these two alongside each other. If you just like, um, if you just want like a relaxing summery vibe to your home, beach house vibes, this reminds me kind of of like fancy lady beach house. Really, really nice. Um, it's been burning well for me. I've been getting pretty good strength and throw. I'd give that one probably like a solid seven, I would say, in um, in the rooms. It's been really, really nice. All right, let's play some Candle Tetris here. I'm moving things around once again. All right, let's talk about some fragrances that I have been burning in the morning. So not only am I a seasonal burner, but there are fragrances that I associate with particular times of the day. And I'm gonna pull out a Bath & Body Works candle here. This is one that I purchased during Candle Day last year. This is Blueberry Lemon Sour. Fragrance notes on this one are sugared lemonade and blueberry sugar. This is a very, very sweet lemonade type of fragrance. Maybe a hint of artificial blueberry in the background, but it's definitely, definitely sugared lemonade forward. I like fragrances like this in the summertime. I feel like they're just good um, generic kind of like blending fragrances with a lot of the other fruity scents. A good sugared lemonade, I feel like just, it goes with everything. The only thing that I did have, have happen with this one is that it did develop puny wicks. Like you can see that I actually poured out some of the wax after the last burn because it did develop puny wicks pretty quickly. Like I wasn't even to the halfway mark on this one. Um, again, I purchased it during candle day, so I probably got it like after coupons and stuff for maybe nine bucks. But even then you guys, I, I'm of the mindset, I would rather take that $9 and apply it to like a $25 candle that I know is going to burn well for me rather than just continuously like dumping money down the rain, the drain. I do, I do have a candle crock. I personally don't I, like candle crocks is like my last resort. I don't like utilizing a candle crock because I'm somebody who likes so much variety that I feel like with the size of my home, once I put a candle in a crock, I feel like it locks me in to what fragrances I can burn. And I don't know, I just, I don't wanna be tied down like that. <laughs> so um, I don't wanna be that committed to any one candle for that long of a time. So anyways, um, I am gonna continue to burn this one. Strength and Throw, when it doesn't have the puny wicks, is pretty decent on this. I would give it probably about a six. Um, not a powerhouse, but again, this is also a fragrance that's so sweet that it could probably be cloying if it were much stronger. The fragrance that I am enjoying pairing it with is Homework's Glazed Blueberry Muffin. Now this is a fragrance that I believe was released around um, Black Friday of 2022 when they had the huge like shipping debacle going on. And in fact, I had ordered this candle at that time and it got canceled from my order. I did purchase this, I think I just purchased this during the, um, what was it, the National Fragrance Week sale that was about a month and a half ago. Fragrance notes on this are blueberry jam, lemon sugar, fresh pastry, elderberry syrup. Pour date on this one is June 9th of 2023. and. I've burned this one a couple of times in the morning and I've got to say, you guys, I love how Homeworks does a blueberry note. I I, I think I, it's safe for me to say, I think Homeworks does blueberry probably the best so far in terms of what I have smelled from various candle brands. They nail blueberry. There's something about how Harry Slotkin's nose detects blueberry. This is really nice. You get that sweet, almost like a blueberry jam type of note in here, like those, um, Definitely the blueberries that are in like a, a muffin mix, you definitely get um, the, the juiciness, the sugariness of those blueberries. I wouldn't say that there's a whole lot of like a muffin note in here, like a, a pastry note, but you do get a, a hint of lemon sugar in the background. It's a very sweet blueberry scent, but it's different than their farm stand blueberry. It's in the same, it's in that same vein, but farm stand blueberry has that cassis note in it. And I really like that fragrance. 
But yeah, this has been really nice. So I've been burning this in the morning alongside this blueberry lemon sour, and I've just been loving that blueberry and lemon combination. I will do a dedicated review on this one for all of you guys. Um, again, most of these ones that I'm showing you, if I haven't done a dedicated review on them and you want further thoughts, stay tuned because pretty much a lot of these, if I haven't done a review on them already, they will be coming down the pipeline here pretty soon. All right. This is a fragrance combination that I teased, uh, was it last, I think I teased it on Monday when I did my April Candle Collection series update. I told you guys that there was a fragrance combination that I tried last weekend that I was like, oh my word, I think this is going to be my holy grail um, orange combination. So the first, the first fragrance in that one is the new Kringle Candle Orange Reserve line candle. Um, this has fragrance notes of orange, mandarin, green, lemon, lemongrass, red fruits, jasmine, tamarind, musk, and amber. I want another one of these already. This is a really nice, good blood orange type of fragrance. It's very juicy. There's a sweetness to it, but it's not, it doesn't have the vanilla creaminess, say that Homeworks is Valencia Orange, which I also like that fragrance, but I've come around to the fact that I actually believe that that Valencia Orange from Homeworks is probably just a repackage of Orange Creamsicle. I think they're, they're very, very similar. This doesn't have the creamy vanilla element to it. It just has that juicy orange fragrance. Oh, it's so, so good. Like I love, love, love this one. Again, it's a fragrance that I'm like, yes, I need another one of those. However, if you want your whole home to just, oh, if you love orange, may I suggest you burn that orange candle with this blood orange and sage gimlet from Homeworks. Fragrance notes on this one are blood orange, sage leaves, gin, and lime zest. Now I'm going to tell you guys, I don't smell anything boozy in this fragrance. So if that gin note is making you a little bit nervous, don't let it. This, Holy cow. Okay, so I get the blood orange for sure in here. Maybe the gin note in here, it doesn't come off extremely boozy to my nose, but there is a slight, I. it's weird. Like when it's burning, I don't think like, oh, that smells boozy. But gin does have, I don't know. I don't know what this is. There is a little bit of lime zest that I'm smelling in here but it's definitely like in the background. That blood orange is in the forefront. There is something about this that I am like, oh man, I, I really, really like this. Sage leaves, slight greenery note to this, but it's not overly herbaceous. This is a really, really nice fragrance. And again, we've got those thinner wicks. I've, I am the person who says, please do not touch your homeworks wicks. Everybody's gonna do what they're gonna do. I find that for me, I get the best performance when I don't touch the wicks, when I don't trim them. But this fragrance, oh my word, this one combined with that Kringle Orange Reserve, it has become my holy grail. I definitely see myself purchasing another one of these. Um, and that's saying a lot for me because you guys know I'm trying to be intentional about what I'm bringing into my collection. That is a, co a candle combination that I know that if I did not have it in my collection moving forward, I would miss it when it comes time for the season to burn fruity fragrances again. All right, while we are talking about some Kringle Reserve candles, I am burning Lime Splash right now. This one was sent to me in PR last year from Kringle. And um, this is one that I started burning last summer. And then I thought, you know what? This is a fragrance that it is definitely a summertime fragrance. I do like lime fragrances. I feel like lime fragrances have to be paired with just the right fragrance notes, um, like other combination candles with it. Lime for me is like I could burn it with a vanilla or whatnot. My husband isn't a huge fan of this one on cold. However, I burned it the other day and he didn't complain about it. So, ooh, I don't know. This is actually pretty good. It's one that like on cold stuff, I'm like, eh, I don't really know if I like it, but when I burn it, I really like it. This one, we actually were burning the other day and my husband was making fish tacos. So like we had like cilantro being cut up and onion and all those kinds of things going on in the kitchen. And I found that this was, I was actually really thankful to have this one burning because it was very strong and it kind of covered up the odors, but also lime is a fragrance that enhances a lot of um, like 
Mexican food, I would say. Here in the Southwest, that is my favorite type of food. I love Mexican food. I am so sorry for all of you guys who live in other places and you don't get good Mexican food because I am very spoiled living in Arizona and also having grown up in Southern California. We know Mexican food and not to, not to talk trash, but um, Texas, you guys don't know what you're doing with Mexican food. <laughs> I went there before and I was like, this is not Mexican food. Anyways, um, Lime Splash, really, really good. It's been a good performer for me. Um, we'll do a dedicated review on this one, but this one's pretty strong, you guys. I would say I was burning it in a hurricane the other day and it was a solid nine. Very, very strong for me. The fragrance that I like burning it with is uh, Sweet Geometry from Kringle. This is another one that at the time that I'm filming this, it's still in stock over on the Kringle website. So I burned this one for the first time the other day when I was burning Lime Splash. I like cherry and lime fragrances mixed together, and I will tell you that this, uh, cherry is a note that I pick up mostly in this one. However, the funny thing is I typically am not somebody who loves cherry fragrances, but I do like this one because it's not like smack me in the face cherry. Cherry to me can sometimes come off like cough syrup or medicinal. I know some people say that about grape, but I feel that way about cherry. Cherry is very hit or miss for me but I like this one. There's kind of an element of, um, of creaminess behind this, which of course you would see that here because it's kind of like in an ice cream cone type of thing. It's been really nice. I'm sure that there, you know, the fragrance notes that are listed here are a little bit more complex as Kringle tends to be when they list their fragrance notes. But I like this one. I burned it in my bedroom in my hurricane. It was, it was pretty solid. I would give it about a good eight and that was just on the first burn the other day. So um, stay tuned if you want more thoughts on those, but that is a wonderful fragrance combination. If you have both of those in your collection, I would encourage you to bust them out. And then finally here, let's move these over. Oh man, you guys, I have tile floors over here and I really am always trying to be like, please don't knock any of these candles off because I do not want them to break. All right, the final fragrance combo that I have been burning right now is I have Kringle Candles Juicy Delight. I believe that this is the, uh, in the three wick here, this Juicy Delight, it is the same fragrance as Watermelon Pops in the Country Candle version. So the fragrance notes on this are watermelon, lime, lemon, green, sugar, and watermelon. This is also another fragrance. That, um, watermelon fragrances I think go really well with lime fragrances as well. Um, this candle to me, I have always said that this one is like Jolly Rancher watermelon. That's what I smell here. It's a very candied, sweet watermelon fragrance. I love it. Um, it screams early summertime to me. Really, really like it. It reminds me kind of of my childhood. The only thing that I will say about this candle is I was burning it yesterday and um, it was, I think, my second burn of this candle and it did develop these puny wicks on me, which I, I'm always a little bit taken aback when I have issue with Kringle wicks. I don't know if they're experimenting with their wicks. Um, I have a feeling that they are, but um, I ended up having to pour out some wax and then relight it and then the wicks uh, kind of came back to life again. And you can see still that now they still have um, some life to them. They were developing like that, like white edge at the wick. I know you guys who are experienced candle burners, you know what I'm talking about when your wicks get puny and they just kind of get like super white at the tips. That's when I'll typically just pour out some wax and then I relit it and it seemed to correct itself. So I'll keep you posted on it. I don't think I have a dedicated review on this three wick and I honestly don't know if these are still in stock on the website. If they are still in stock, let me know if you guys want me to do a dedicated review on this one um, because I love the fragrance. The fragrance is yummy. I actually had this one last year and it was a repurchase for me. So that should tell you how much I love the fragrance. And then another candle that this is a repurchase for me as well. I had this in a duo last year from QVC and the performance was so disappointing for me. However, the fragrance I loved enough that I was like, when I saw it come back to the Homeworks website this year, I was like, I'm gonna give that another shot because I knew that I had the Juicy Delight and that this one would pair nicely with it. This is farm stand watermelon. So I love this beautiful pink gingham packaging with the white lid. We have fragrance notes on here of watermelon juice, sweet honeydew, strawberry leaf, and crystallized sugar. Now, weird thing here, you guys. I feel like the wax actually just tried to pop out. That's kind of weird. Um, okay, so I've burned this one two times now. I will tell you that on the first burn, it was actually stronger than what I remembered last year. So I was like, okay, that's a good sign. Again, we're dealing with those really thin wicks initially. So 
just is what it is, you guys. I, I All I can tell you is that these are my tips and tricks for how I'm not having issues with the wicks, but I will tell you, I burned this one yesterday in a hurricane in my bedroom and it was a good, um, I, I would give it a good eight. It, it definitely filled up my bedroom really, really well. It was throwing outside. I will tell you that um, it took probably about an hour for it to completely start throwing for me. That being said also, what did my husband make yesterday? He made something for lunch that I came out. Oh, he made like a garlic shrimp or something. And I came out and I was like, it stinks in here. Like, so I don't think, I would not suggest a watermelon fragrance to try to cover up if somebody has made garlic shrimp in your kitchen. Um, but once that aired out, I could definitely detect this a lot more. But I really like this fragrance. Again, stay tuned. I'll do a dedicated review on this one because um, the fragrance is really nice. Perfect for summertime summertime vibes especially i always think watermelon fragrances are really nice if you're hosting like a barbecue or anything like that um it just gives kind of those fun summery vibes so that is it right now that is currently what i have going on in my burning rotation i'm still um, i'm still burning some candles that i talked about in my april candle chat i'm still burning palm beach and santorini um, from homeworks I, there's just there's a lot of candles and there's really only so much time that I have to talk about all of them so make sure you're subscribed to my channel because I will be doing this video again in another two weeks and updating you with some other candles that I pulled into my rotation either when I get tired of some fragrances or maybe I burn through them um, but yeah let me know in the comment box down below what are you currently burning this month do you have any favorite candle combinations that you are just in love with right now. I have to say, you guys, that that blood orange and sage, um, what is it? Blood orange and sage gimlet with that Kringle Reserve orange is right now. That is my like, that is the fragrance combo that I'm like, okay, Katie, you have to burn some other fragrances right now because I, ooh, I'm loving it so so very very much. Um, I always ask that you keep your comments respectful of myself and others within our community. I honestly never have problems with you guys, but I feel like if I don't say it, then Maybe things will happen. I don't know. Um, keep your eyes peeled too. There's probably going to be some Mother's Day sales, I imagine, going on. I'm pre-filming this a couple of days ahead of time, so I don't have any information as of the time that I am filming this. I believe Kringle was running their, um, I don't know if it's still going on. They were running like a buy one, get one free on the large jars. Um, but I anticipate that there will probably be a lot of Mother's Day sales going on as we approach Mother's Day next week. So. Again, thumbs up if you like this video. I do want to say thank you so very much for spending your time here with me today. And until my next one, I hope you all go out and have a very blessed day. Bye.